officially the holidays. Welcome back to the Full Style Ink channel for another video. My name is Nadia and I am the creator, founder of Full Style Ink. And it's officially the holidays. How are we doing there, my beautiful, amazing, magical stylists? So, it's the holidays. Um, it's outside season, even though it's freezing cold, but most importantly, it is party season the holidays brings parties going out nice little pop-up bars friends miss all the things holiday um holiday office parties you know the office parties where things go down this is the season so to kick things off i want to start talking about some of the things that i'm loving that i'm seeing that are really trending and popular for this holiday season I want to talk about nine holiday trends for this season, winter, fall, winter 2022. Ooh, I love the holidays. I love the party season. And although I don't follow trends, like I love a good trend. I love a good trend, even though I'm not always able to jump on it. Or I love when trends reflect on something that was already passed and you can bring something back out. But also I do love when trends like disappear. So I can go back to wearing the thing I was already wearing and like not look like anybody else. So I'm excited for what we have this holiday season because some of these are so fun. Some of these are so, so fun so i'm just gonna go into it so what i mean by trends i when i talk about these trends i talk about certain elements of uh, clothing or fashion or even some accessories that can be added to our wardrobe there are some of the big things that some of us are already doing already have in our closet of uh, certain stuff that you can wear there are certain uh, accessories there's certain added flair a certain razzle dazzle that brings that holiday look to life the holidays are bold sequins bright colors gold yellows yellows <laughs> gold silver green red like explosion of color and textures and different weights of fabric and different types of fabric so some of these trends are things that you do not have to run out and buy some of these things you probably already have in your closet or you definitely definitely can thrift number one bow i love a good 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 bow now these are bow details added onto your clothing. Now, I haven't done many bow details on my clothing, but I love a good bow in my hair. I love a good bow earring. I love a good bow like accessory and a bow bag. But these are bows on your dresses, even on your shoes and nice fun decorative details there are some gorgeous like bow drape dresses off the shoulder dresses where the whole top of the dress is the bow detail or a cute little peekaboo bow in the back mm, 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 mm. so stinking cute this is this is girly this is high caliber girly it's giving audrey hepburn it's 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 giving and i absolutely adore it's giving gossip girl oh a gossip girl and a sex in the city reference i love a good bow like a bow top with like a tool skirt that's gossip girl and sex in the city that came together and had a baby in your outfit oh that's so cute number two now number two i'm a it's a combination of a few tr different trends that I feel like can emerge and like balance each other together. And that is the high shine with the modern disco era. So when I think of disco, I think of brilliance, bright, metallic, sequence, bedazzling, 
gold, right? So you have the high shine, high shine of metallics, and even it's not only in clothing, but it's also in bags. There's a lot of shiny metallic, um, kind of like gold leaf, silver happening in bags and accessories. And then you have the modern disco era where it's the sequins or metallic or foils jumpsuits and dresses and tops that seems like you just want to hit the floor and dance the nights away living in that 1970s disco era absolutely love it and gorge also paired with these are the whole idea of fancy pants fancy pants is literally the term used by i think vogue or harper bazaar where it's fit pants created in different ways that either is sequins or they're metallic or they're fringe pants or they have like feathers on it feathers is also another trend paired with fancy pants also within the disco era because they used to dance dance with how the feathers and have the boas and like the like the trim around the coats <laughs> can you imagine showing up to let's say a new year's party right or like a, or uh, uh, a new year's party or like an event and you have this beautiful emerald dark mm, coat with the fur trend or the feather trend around the collar and maybe a little bit on the cuffs to unfurl take that off dripping in like a gold metallic jumpsuit halter neck jumpsuit or like a strapless jumpsuit with like a cute little top underneath if you don't want to you know, wear a strapless hair high gold earrings oh my god sickening i can imagine it let me just get another jumpsuit any goose dollars love that I'm gonna move on, I'm gonna move on because I'm getting ahead of myself. Coming, coming down from the disco era, coming down from the disco era, we have skirt sets. I love, I love a cute set. I love a good skirt. You guys know I am a skirt type of girl. I'm not a girly girl, but I honestly prefer skirts over anything else. And what more better way than to twirl and dance in the new year's in the cute little skirt set whether it's a mini skirt for some of you guys who are a little bit more bold or a mini skirt or even like a little maxi skirt would have a little twirl or flare to it these skirt sets are all the rage this fall winter and even going into spring we have these skirt sets that are made out of sequence with a matching little top or a little blazer or a tweed little set that is perfect giving chanel and a little bit of gospel girl gospel girl vibe so stinking cute if you can find you a cute little skirt set and a matching blazer or a matching top you already have the look the look is there all you need is a fabulous coat or jacket right also this is something that you can definitely diy definitely thrift by going into your thrift store and finding either a men's suit jacket and suit set or a women's old business suits and adding any type of flair or detail to it. If the skirt is too boxy, too big, you can always bring it in or crop it. As well as the same thing with the jacket. You can bring it in on the sides, crop it to the length that you have happy with, and you can add embellishments to it. You can add fur around the collar or the cups. You can glue on embellishments. You can have the time of your life with a good DIY to make that skirt set your very own. Speaking of embellishment, shiny embellishments, shiny embellishments or colored gemstones are all the rage. You've seen these dresses. I know you have on TikTok and Instagram where um, creators are upstyling, where creators are upcycling these high fashion, high end gemstone dress that have these large, beautiful colored gemstones all over. And especially embellishments being really popular this year where you have a nice little detail, whether it's a shoulder detail, whether it's a skirt detail, whether it's around the collar or the back or the hem, where there's some type of added shine or flair to make that dress or suit or skirt 
really, really pop. This is something, again, you can definitely DIY. All you need is an old necklace, some old jewelry, or you can go to Joann's and buy you some gemstones, a hot glue gun, or E6000, and have you a time with something that you already own in your wardrobe that you want to spruce up, or something you found at your local thrift store. Honestly, it's so easy. It's a no sew project. It's so cute. And I definitely will be taking apart some old jewelry and adding something to a blazer or a skirt or two. Like I said, I've skipped ahead of myself. So some of these are definitely merged together. But next up, we have fancy pants. And I mean, when I say fancy pants, I already kind of brought this in with the modern disco. But fancy pants meaning pants to give the girls the guy, give them the go. We're, we want feathers on our pants. We want sequins. We want glitter. We want embellishments. We want fringe. We want to be seen with our pants. Can you imagine, again, a nice dark deep brown or dark deep blue or black coat, right? It hits you got either at your ankles or at your knees. Nice dark drape coat. And, and as you walking, you see that kick of your pants. <laughs> you see the feathers on the ankles? Or you see the fringe as it shimmies? Or the sequins as it shines? Oh, so cute. Again, I gotta do some shopping. So very cute. I am so excited for this. I love a good statement piece with some fancy pants. That is your outfit. That is your look. You can go simple with the top, throw on a blazer or not, or you can match it, go bow for bow. I'm more of a bow for bow type of girl, but that's just me. I've already mentioned feathers are all the rage. All the rage. They're on clothes, they're on accessory, they're in our hair. Oh, it's giving Rococo. It's giving Renaissance Rococo era. Okay? The Renaissance Revival Rococo era. Where they used to wear feathers on their hair, feathers on their shoes, and feathers on their dresses. <laughs> Love a good feather moment. Can you imagine feather gloves? Oh! I am done. I am loving this. I must make my way to the thrift store and to the craft store to give, gather the materials to make me a feather extravaganza. I don't know what it's going to look like yet, but it will be marvelous. And last but not least, this one, so we call this number nine because I have no idea what number I'm on. This one is so, so fun. Something new for me because honestly, I'm still learning to appreciate certain things about my body. And that is embellish cutouts, right? Embellishment cutouts. Cutouts have made way this past year or so. There are inversible distress. What is the word? Um, what is the word I'm looking for? Diversify, reversible, distress basics where they take bases and like chop it up and do things with it but cutouts have really been um making headway this past year in fashion in fashion is one of the one of the hottest trends and now you have embellished cutouts cutouts that have a little razzle dazzle to them whether it's along the shoulder or the arms or whether it's on the waist and the hips you have these cute little details that make that cut out a little bit more special, give a little girls a little go, a little sneaky peek at the beautiness of your skin underneath. This is so fun. This is something I would recommend someone who's not as bold and crazy, who's not as comfortable, but is comfortable in showing a little bit of skin, give a little bit of pick a boo, right? But you wanna add a little razzle, a nice simple black dress or a gold dress or like a deep dark jewel tone emerald or sapphire blue with a little razzle around your cutout. Definitely something you can DIY. Find that nice fitted turtleneck dress or sweater dress. Get comfortable, stand in front of the mirror, try it on, see what part of your body you wanna show. Whether it's a cute cutout keyhole here or on the back, you wanna cut down the sleeves and add little bows at the front, like this dress here. It's so cute. Or you want a nice pair of pants and you want to cut it down the sides and add a little detail up there because the little split pants are in this year. 
you can definitely DIY this, get some gold trim from some old jewelry or from the craft store and have a good old time. These are so cute and so perfect for the holiday seasons. All right, stylers, you tell me which one of these trends are you excited about? Which one of these trends are you willing to try and are going to try? Remember, this is the holiday season. It is about love, it is about light, it is about partying and being with those that you love, okay? And for all of you who may be feeling any type of way this holiday season, whether you're not with your family or you can't be near your family or you have lost a loved one, remember you are not alone, you are valued, you are important, and you are needed in this world. And know that I am here with you, rooting for you as well as praying for you. All right, guys, I'm going to let you guys go because I have some shopping and some DIYing to do. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a marvelous day and we have a marvelous season. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.